Another weird way to actualize money is to, wait for it, <laughs> ask for it. Yes, ask for it. Now, asking is in a lot of different ways. So of course, actually asking for it, like asking, hey, can I have the money now, please? Which is one of the tools from Access Consciousness is you just look at everything around you. I look at my lights for my video. Can I have the money now, please? I look at my computer. Can I have the money now, please? I look outside at my swimming pool. Can I have the money now, please? Looking at trees, at animals, at people, going into stores, go, like, can I have the money now, please? Where you're actually just training yourself to ask for it. So you're not going into, I can't do that, it's wrong, that's, that's horrible, it's greedy, like all of those, which are of course just very interesting points of views. Can I have the money now, please? Start asking for it. Now the other piece of asking for it that I would like you to be really aware of is the asking for it from everything you're thinking and saying and doing. Because everything that we think, we say, we feel, all of that are asks. So if you are spending an hour with a friend talking about how horrible money is and how hard it is and there's never enough, mm -hmm. guess what you're asking for? Yeah. So it's not that you have to be perfect at it. It's not that you have to do it for, you know, 100% of the time for you to actually start, you know, creating what you're asking for in terms of what you'd really like. And you do need to be asking for it way more. We're going to be way, way, way more aware of what you're thinking and feeling and saying. Because it's not congruent. If you're asking for, let's say you would like an additional... $10,000 a month and 90% of your time you're focusing on how much money you don't have and how hard money is and how difficult it is and how there's a recession and how there's never enough and it, you're not actually asking for what you'd like and it does become a retraining it really at least for me it was and I'm not perfect at it by any means and there is this like retraining in in that when you start going down that rabbit hole, when you start going where everyone else goes, probably not everyone, but most other people go, you want to stop and look at, okay, what would I really like to create here? And this is, this is my go-to question with that sort of stuff, because when I'm going down that crazy, it doesn't feel good. There's a heaviness to it. There's a denseness to it. And so with that, when I start to get that, it's like, oh, it's like, wait, what would I actually like to create here? And then turn that into a cognitive ask of what you would like, where you're actually going into like, hey, I wonder what it would be like to have more money show up today than I never imagined possible. Like, I wonder what that would be like. Huh. I wonder, I wonder who I could call today that would actualize money in my bank account right away. I wonder who that would be. I wonder what it would be like to double my income this month with total ease and joy and glory. Like, I wonder what that would be like. I wonder what it would be like to have more money than I could spend. Hmm. I wonder what that would be like. Where you go into, and I'm, I'm using I wonder, you can use whatever way you like to formulate a question. A lot of people like to ask the question from uh, like what, what would it take for more money to show up right away? That's cool. Personally, for me, what would it take questions often trigger me to think about it. If they say, okay, well, what would it take for more money to show up right away? Usually then I go, okay, well, it would take me doing A, B, C, and D. And that's not what we're looking for. Now, we may have an awareness of something to do or f someone to phone or whatever. Like, we may have an awareness. But if it's from the logic of, okay, well, if I'd like more money, then I need to do this and this and this. That's not the energy we're looking for. So a lot of people love what would it take for blah, blah, blah to show up. Please keep asking that way if you love that. It just, I find for me, I wonder is way more expansive. And it just puts it like, I wonder, I wonder what that would be like. I wonder what it would be like 
to have all of the money that I've ever spent in any lifetime to show up in my bank account right away. Like, I wonder what that would be like. <sighs> I wonder what it would be like to have more money than I could spend. Like, what would that be like? And you just wonder and you become the wonder woman and the wonder man that you actually have always been. Uh, it's just often we're doing it in a way that doesn't create greater. And it's a lot of times it's from the habit. It's not, I, I was saying this morning, I was doing a, a, a group thing with, with some really amazing people. And I said, you know, it's easier to distract ourselves. And I was like, no, 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 it's actually not easier. It's just a habit. We've created these habits and the habit to talk about what isn't working is such a huge habit that it does take, as I said earlier, at least for me, retraining so that when I recognize I'm talking about something that I don't really desire, I'm telling a story, what we're doing then is we're creating more of that. We're asking for more of that. It's not what we would like. So what would I actually like to create here? Well, I'd like to create more money. Okay, so what could I ask for that would actualize more money showing up? Ask for more money. <laughs> so the asking piece to me has a few different things. So we can be asking and, you know, so if somebody owes you money, what about asking them for it? Now, sometimes just phoning them up and saying, hey, you know what? Remember that whatever money, can I have it now, please? Sometimes it's that. Sometimes it's asking through a lawyer. Some, you know, you just want to follow the energy. What's going to create the greatest? Some, like there's lots of different ways to ask. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, you know, just energetically asking. Energetically, when somebody owes you money, you can think about them and you can direct energy to them and flow it through them and then pull it through them and then pull it to you. And basically you're cycling the energy between you and them and um, sorry, not cycling. You're pulling the energy from them. Sorry. <laughs> I was doing a whole other energy thing. So you're basically pulling universal energy through them into you and through you. And you just keep pulling and pulling and pulling and pulling and send the message that you'll stop once they pay you. Because when we pull people's energy like that, uh, if there's something like that where they owe you money, that's all they'll be able to think about. They'll be like, oh man, I really got, like I owe them money and they'll, you know, and so when you send energetically the message, hey, I'll stop this. Once you pay it, a lot of people will just go and pay it because they just, they don't like that constant reminder of what they haven't done yet. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's not the flowing as I was talking about before, it's actually at the pulling and you're pulling universal energy. So you're pulling energy through them, through you and out through you. And you're just pulling and pulling and pulling and sending the message, hey, you know what? I'll stop when you pay me. And then it's not always enough. So sometimes you're doing that and you're phoning them and saying, hey, you know what? Here's my email to bank transfer me or here's my PayPal account or whatever it might be. So you wanna also be willing to ask that way too. Be willing to ask and look at those points of views when you're not. You know, what is that? If you're not willing to ask somebody for, for the money, whether that's something that they bought from you, something that they owe you, uh, what is that? And would you be willing to? And if you're not, then cool. Don't have to force yourself, but just clear those points of views, whatever they might be. There might be that you, maybe you saw your parents never ask. So you took it as the message of you shouldn't ask people for money, it's wrong to, who knows? I mean, there's a billion things. It doesn't really matter what it is. What you wanna do is you just wanna clear it so that you actually have choice, so that you can actually be aware of that. Like, oh yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm totally gonna to ask that. I remember my husband years ago, he had lent one of his uh, children money and she was an adult and is an adult. <laughs> and I kind of always had this interesting point of view that if you, if you did that for a child, you basically were just giving them the money. And it didn't, it wasn't like it was, it wasn't our money, it was money he had. So, but, you know, if he didn't get it back, that was, there was nothing in it for me, but I was just like, wow, you know, he, is he gonna be okay with that? 
And what was interesting was about six months later, the government here in Canada had done this like some sort of a GST, I don't know, tax rebate thing. And so each household was getting a certain amount of money depending on how many kids you had. So as soon as he heard that, he just, oh, he's like, oh, she'll have the money. So he just phoned her up and said, hey, you know, the government's doing this. So when yours comes in, you can just send it to me. And it was just like, wow, he had no point of view about asking for it, which also ensured that he actually received it. Because she was like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, absolutely. And that's exactly what occurred. So when it came in, you know, he sent, she sent what she owed to him and it was done. And I was like, man, that's a lot of no drama trauma right there. Like just the, and, and he knew obviously when he asked her or when, when she loaned it to her that he would have no problem asking for it back. And it's like, wow, wow. And not that that's the right way or the wrong way, but I know when I was, you know, before all of the, the GST stuff and all that, it was like, man, is this going to cause a problem? And it was like, no, cause he's willing to ask for it. And he's that sort of guy. I mean, he, he would never, ever, ever hesitate asking um, he's a great inspiration for me in that way and and so it's like that if you're willing to ask and what would stop a person being willing to ask is just really interesting points of views that it's wrong it's mean it's unkind it's rude it's like all of those things those are really interesting points of views that all you need to do is use the interesting point of view tool on it of interesting point of view I have that point of view Interesting point of view that it's rude to ask for money. Interesting point of view, I have that point of view. Interesting point of view that it's mean to ask for money. Interesting point of view, I have that point of view. Like whatever the points of views that pop up and you don't have to list them like that. You can just kind of be in the energy of it and running, you know, just over and over interesting point of view. I have that point of view to clear those so that you actually then have the space that you would actually then be able to ask. And then also be willing to receive from everything. As I talked about earlier, you know, asking everything. Can I have the money now, please? Can I have the money now, please? It becomes quite a fun little exercise, especially if you're out on a walk. You know, you see an ant. Can I have the money now, please? You see, you know, a tree. Can I have the money now, please? Or you're in a mall. You can ask the things in the stores. You can ask the people walking by. I mean, maybe not out loud, although you could. <laughs> Depends how much you're willing to receive, I guess. Uh, you know, but, but the willingness to ask for what you would like. And, and it doesn't necessarily even have to be money, but the asking piece, even though, you know, this is a weird way to actualize more money, that's why it is a weird way is because most people aren't willing to ask. Most people aren't willing to receive the potential judgment back that the person might say or have about the situation. Uh, and then, the other piece is to me it's the the number one of all things whether it's money or not whatever it is that you would like what are you saying and thinking and feeling if you're paying attention to those then you'll get a sense of what needs to change because what you're asking for is in your life right now so you want to look at right now what's going on so if your money isn't where you'd like it to be where are you asking it to be what it is? Do you have friends you hang out with and you constantly talk about how horrible it is? Do you have, do you just do that in your head? You don't even, it doesn't have to be external. You can just be doing it all by yourself. But you want to look at that because everything in your life is what you've asked for. So where can you be changing your asks and how can you be changing your asks for something different? And a lot of times it's just to get out of the habit of talking about how horrible it is. In the How to Become Money workbook, uh, they talk about the the storms. There was it, the the class that it was taken at. They were done in um, around New York, and it was there were some like really bad snowstorms in that year. And so the they were talking about how if we stopped basically if we stopped making such a big deal about the weather, the weather wouldn't happen to that degree. And it's like, it, it's like, how much do we do that? And I myself have been totally in it this year. There's been a lot of rain here and stuff. And so we talk about that a lot instead of asking for what we would like. Now, I don't mean that it should always be sunny and hot here because we do need rain and sunshine and, and everything. 
But if we stop making a big deal of it, if we stop making it the story to tell to get the attention, you know, then what might we create? What would we like to create? How much more would we like to create? How much more money would you like to receive? How much complaining would you have to stop about money to receive the amount of money you would like to receive? <laughs> How does it get any better than that? <laughs>